What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Just talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Now as of this recording, Scream 6 is expected to start filming tomorrow in Montreal with uh, signs of Mason Gooding already being there as well as Jasmine Brown, Jasmine Savoy Brown. It looks like the two are together based off of some recent things you can see on Jasmine's social media story on Instagram. So also people think that melissa barrera is there as well so we'll see what actually ends up going on tomorrow because something tells me that we're going to get a gigantic cast announcement tomorrow because i would imagine that at some point there's going to be a lot of things that people are going to be able to uh on bring to the surface given the amount of people who are going to probably go out of their way to share things on social media share things on reddit you know take pictures of people on set you know get, be ahead of those things i, I would imagine they're going to try to be ahead of those things uh of course i don't know what type of uh type of lockdowns they might have in place pertaining to preventing things from getting out from people not being allowed in certain vicinities of where they're shooting at so we'll see how that works i think we're going to get a casting announcement tomorrow what i mostly wanted to talk about was this news that came out or speculation that i see started about uh the movie being shot in multiple locations in terms of being shot in the uk and australia along with what we already knew to be true montreal so that is from what i can gather not true one because the article has now been taken down two because the the uh individual or the outlet that had wrote it when i reached out to them i asked them if scream six was actually going to be filming in the uk and australia their response to me was no i thought i would throw that in for impact and then they said yes it is according to imdb so again i i think i've just now shot that in the foot completely they will, willingly admitted to me that they they put that in there for the sake of having an impact and of course you know as a result you guys clicked on it and also at the same time the way they worded it should not have been worded that way because they're saying that they got it from imdb <laughs> which if i go to the scream 6 imdb page i see no mention of filming locations being the uk and australia so why was an article like this published the article also mentioned that nev campbell was back courtney cox was back david arquette was back and it's just like okay why why did we do this it doesn't and then the article has been deleted so you know i was already on the fence there because of the fact that the article the way it was written or the way it was typed wasn't really making a lot of sense it went on to start talking about people who weren't even in this movie but were in previous movies skeet Ulrich, drew barrymore all these other different things while at the same time talking about the people who were in this one hayden pantier jasmine savoy brown um you know mason gooding all these different people that we know are in this movie but going on about all these different stars that have just appeared in the franchise previously which really didn't need to be mentioned in your article but they again went out of their way this outlet went out of their way to tell me that they threw it in there for for i guess impact shock value for the sense of getting people to talk getting people to click so there you have it uh because the the biggest thing here for a lot of people was that maybe they had some insider details because they are located in montreal there's no insider information that they had they they admitted to me that they took this from imdb i don't even see this on imdb so i don't even know how true that was it just seems like a waste of an article to type up and, and, and submit for, for really no reason so going on about nev campbell really quick nev campbell still has not had her announcement but i've seen rumors come out that she stated that at a convention that's been happening over the weekend she's not going to be doing it because they don't she doesn't think the script does sydney justice now some people of course are saying oh if sydney's not in it i'm not watching that's all fine and dandy that's you and i, I fully believe this movie will be a success with or without you watching it given who they bring in for the new cast members i feel like we need to stop downplaying the impact that a lot of new cast members can have depending on who they are and what shows they may or may not be associated with that are popular and you know just downplaying the fact that courtney cox is a is a draw as well gail weathers is a draw just as much as sydney prescott is i would say and you could also go on about how if they are actually wanting to have a successful financial box office return it all comes down to your marketing nev campbell being in it won't do a damn thing if your movie is marketed to hell or not marketed at all but i just want to talk about those comments that they're saying she made apparently not been verified or made true but someone i guess shared this with another person who shared it online but didn't say who the person was and now i guess this person who originally shared it, of course can't be found because that's of course how rumors originate usually so i don't think that this is true only off of the basis that 
I feel like Nev is above doing stuff like that at conventions. If she, I'm not saying there's anything wrong if she were to do that, but I don't think that she would go out of her way to word things in, in a manner in which makes you seem like she's trying to trash what's coming from the sixth movie. If anything, she probably still very much so is in it in a very small manner, probably the smallest manner she's ever been in a screen movie. And when it relates to if she did indeed say, let's pretend that is true. She doesn't think it does her justice. People, of course, are jumping to a lot of conclusions that are stemming from things that they think wouldn't be justice, like killing her or something else pertaining to Sydney. This could be talking about things that you probably are in favor of. Like, I know a lot of people were clamoring to have Sydney living in Woodsboro in Screen 5, something that I... I can admit would not have been a movie killer as much as it would have still been okay that's not the best writing choice I would say for Sydney Prescott why would Sydney Prescott go out of her way to not only live in a place that's been a source of a lot of her trauma has also resulted her being targeted by multiple killers and it again is just a place that you could go that could easily inspire somebody else to target you making yourself an easy target like that Sydney has done a lot to earn her safety and I don't think she would do something that foolish in her adulthood living in Woods bro being the biggest one on that list of foolish things she could do so that could be something that they are doing in the movie that she's in agreement with that you as a fan would be in agreement with we don't know let's say again that it's true this could also have a narrative in which sydney just doesn't have a lot of relevance to the narrative but she's there which again is something that a lot of people want just to see sydney they just want her there just because she's Sydney. Nev probably is in the same boat like me. Sydney Prescott doesn't need to just be there. That's pro Let's say that's the scenario. Maybe that's why she doesn't think it's doing the character justice. You do not just put Sydney here just to propel these new characters. If Sydney has no purpose here, she doesn't need to be here. Maybe that's also what was presented to her if this is true in the script for Scream 6. And that's why she said, I'm not doing this. But again, a lot of people, they are advocating for that. We don't know what this material might have been. Let let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Again, that report was not true about the multiple locations for what I gathered. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.